Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View. Newcastle United beat Chelsea 4 1 yesterday. You know, um, it'd been a bit of a frustrating two week wait to put things right after the disappointing game against uh, Bournemouth. But then, you know, probably need the international break with all the injuries we're getting, the fixtures we're playing. I mean, of course, we've got to play, a, we're going to have a very busy December. Um, even more so, obviously, with uh, Champions League and still being in the Carabao Cup, which is funny enough, um, quarter final is away to Chelsea. But um, yeah, that was brilliant yesterday. But, um, looking at our start and 11, unfortunately, Joe Willick has been ruled out. Um, I think he aggravated the injury that was keeping him out at the start of the season. Um, long staff, it was too early for him to return. So, um, Miley was starting in the midfield, but it was good to see um, Isaac back in the start 11. And of course, he got um, the opening goal of the game. It was a cross in from Trippier, um, which didn't really do much, but then it came to um, Gordon, you know, took it out the he took it out the box, he gave it to uh, Jolinton. Jolinton gave it to Miley, I'm thinking, shoot it at this point. But then Miley just manages to find Isaac and Isaac just puts in for 1 0. And then uh, Miley, I think he's like the fifth youngest player to get an assist in the Premier League. Um he's beaten Phil Ford in, in that um but um yes what a talent we've got on our hands. I mean um you know, we'll rave about you know young players doing well in pre season like Miley did but then the start Fans will probably think, is it not too soon? You know, just, I'd look definitely look to um, I'd definitely keep him in the starting eleven against uh, PSG on uh, Tuesday. But uh, yes, lovely finish from um, Isaac. Good to have him back from injury. Um, just hope um, you know he can stay fit, especially with Wilson being out. And then um, you know we're getting another forward in the uh, January. But um, the equaliser came for Chelsea. Uh, we lost the ball. Sterling um, got through, and uh, Trippier took him down on the edge of the box. I mean, and then Trippier got yellow carded. I think it was for arguing with the referee. Um, it was a kind of a challenge that you know we'd lost the ball, and Trippier he felt he needed to make that challenge because um, you know what could easily have happened if he didn't. But unfortunately, the free kick um, ended up in the back of the net. It was a lovely free kick from Stern, but Pope, you need to be doing better. Even if you can't save it, if you can't save it, just have a go. And, um, you know, even if you get nowhere near it, then at least you've tried, but you need to be doing better there. But a uh, good free kick from Stern, and a lad who oh, loves scoring against Newcastle. But... Um, you know, Chelsea had some chances to go 2-1 up. Um, I think Palmer had a shot and just went uh, just wide. Um, Fernandez had a good effort, which was saved by Pope shortly before half-time. Uh, we also, we had a free kick ourselves shortly before half-time. In a good position, Trippier. Coming close, but he hit the bar. So went into the break level. But then we got ourselves back in front in the second half. Um, it was a free kick. Um, there was a trip. You gave it to Jolinton. Jolinton gave it to Gordon. There's a lovely ball in from the left hand side. It finds the cells who gets away from his man. It's a lovely header from him to make a two one. His first Premier League goal for two years. Um, well, um, I mean, yes, it's, Apart from uh, it was the game against Everton, one one three one. We thought he had the goal, but then it was an own goal from uh, Holgate. But um, you know he'll be ha very happy to be back on the score sheet. And um, you know what, he looks so much better so far um, this season, because um, you know previously fans were writing saying you know time to move him on. Um, but um, yeah, he's just looked a lot better. Uh, since he came to the start of 11, when Sven bombed it. But, um, we made it 3-1 practically straight away. 
I think it was it Palmer gave it to um, Silva. Silva, I don't know what he's doing there. I mean, you know, for a guy with so much experience, it was just a poor pass, like just weak. It just Joe Linton came in, took advantage, and just made it three one. I mean, I don't know if Thiago Silva was just feeling sorry for Joe Linton because of the daft red card he got um, for Brazil on international duty. I mean, by daft, I mean, like, how is that a red card? Um, and as well. So, lovely revenge for uh, the lad. I mean, I know Brazil, they'll be very disappointed to have lost to the bigger, biggest rivals. But, um, yeah, Joe Linton just took advantage of a mistake. You know, pressed them, just smashed it in. 3-1. You're thinking we're gonna get, we're gonna win this game now, um, but um, Chelsea went down to ten men. Rhys James gave the ball away to Gordon, brought him down. He was already on a yellow card, and when you do that, you can't have any complaints. So he's sent, he's sent off. He means he was getting frustrated, but then he's got himself out of Chelsea's next game. I can't remember who they're playing, and um, but uh, we made it, made it four one. Almiron, good ball to uh, Gordon. Gordon went out wide, but then he cut back in. And just smashed into the bottom corner. And, um, yeah, that was... Um, that wrapped up the um, the three points. But, um, you know, the substitutions. It was good to see, um, you know, Dummett get a run out in the Premier League. His first Premier League appearance since um, January 2022 when we beat um, Leeds 1-0 I think he's a good option for um, I feel like he's definitely a good option for centre back maybe he's not got the pace for left back anymore but um, as a centre back you know he played very well in the two Carabao Cup games so I think we've definitely got an option there and then Lewis Miley obviously fantastic game from him and it was also good to see you know, a few more I mean Richie obviously had to come on and then we brought on a few under twenty one lads, uh, Alex Murphy, who did who I was very impressed, looked good in the preseason. Uh, not that so much of preseason. Uh, and Dewani and um, Diallo also coming on, so it's good to see them lads get a run out, even if it was just cameos. Um, you know, they got their debuts in the Premier League, and that was uh, brilliant to see. Uh, hopefully we'll see uh, more of them, potentially. But, um, yeah, looking at the Premier League table, I mean, I am recording this before the um, Saturday uh, three. Sorry, t today's games uh, take place. So um, we are up to um, sixth position. I mean, Brighton won, so um, they're still just a point behind us. Obviously, we've got the better goal difference. We went above Man United, but they play Everton away this afternoon. Of course, we've got to play Man United next Saturday night. Um, I mean, we're only a few points off uh, Tottenham in fourth place and um, two points behind Villa. But of course, they play each other uh, this afternoon. Hopefully, that game ends the draw. And um, of course, we've got to play Tottenham in a couple of weeks' time. You know, potentially we could be playing them at a good time because they've lost the last couple of games. And, um, well, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for um, this match review. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media pages in the description below. Let us know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you hopefully Wednesday for a review of the uh, PSG game.